In this video, I'm going to let an AI design its very own update that I'm then going to code into Minecraft. Let's see what happens starting with blocks. How about a block that when right clicked opens up a crafted- <clears throat> Uh, let's try that again. A wishing well block. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Now Minecraft already has the desert well, so let's start there. This thing has been in Minecraft for so long, yet it does nothing. So I'm gonna change that. Let's go. So I'm gonna take an emerald, maybe a bunch of emeralds, and throw it in. Oh, I got a diamond. So if we throw emeralds in, I think it would be cool to get stuff in return. Look at that leather. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, how do I turn it off? So now we know how this is going to work. Let's do another. How about a farming block that would help players to more easily cultivate? That's a lot of words. <laughs> you mean like this? We have this on Origin Realms, so let's do something else. I think it would be cool to have a block that when you right clicked it, it places a block of your choice directly above this. Now. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Let's do it. So if I place this block here and then I flip the switch, oh, that's awesome. Okay, if I do it again, it should, br yes, it brings the item back. That's awesome. No, I'm not a redstone genius, but I have a couple of ideas of why I would want this. Uh, you could use it to place seeds. This could be good for farming. And I also want to try building like an automated clay farm thing from mud. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but it works and that's all that matters. This is great. Oh, and can the display Placer place itself? <laughs> okay, now that we've done blocks, we need to do weapons, items, hostile mobs, animals, and so much more. But first, we need an update title. So, AI, what should we call your update? Minecraft World. Yeah, okay, sounds fitting. <laughs> Let's go. And if you enjoy the video, consider subscribing and help me hit 2 million. Enjoy the video. So I started asking more questions like what kind of item to add to Minecraft and the AI wants a grappling hook which sounded awesome But I also needed a weapon and the AI wants a spear, but we already made that on Origin Realms. Was Origin Realms made by an AI? Come on AI, give me something good. A bow that can shoot arrows made of lava. Huh. Now we gotta make a grappling hook, which is okay. I, I can do that. It always starts with a block. <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. You know, I like this, but it doesn't really feel like Minecraft. So I reached out to my friend Sully and he made this. Okay, this works. I think this feels a little bit more like Minecraft. I was too excited to try it out and forgot to make the lava bow. But that's okay because It's Bees made it for me and it looks awesome. Surely nothing can go wrong with this idea. Leave it to AI to make the most destructive idea possible. This doesn't seem like this is going to go well. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, village. I'm starting to think this isn't the best idea for Minecraft. I wonder if I can, like, shoot it over. <gasps> I could go even higher. I'm having a little too much fun with this. Uh, my world is going to crash any minute. <laughs> okay. All right. I normally have some terrible ideas, but this might be one of my best ideas ever. Oh, right. That's how that works. <laughs> Well, I think my job here is done. And now it's time to focus on the grappling hook. This is going to be so cool. It has everything you could ever desire. And I even gave it a couple of enchantments. And without further ado, let's give it a shot. Hold up. Before we shoot that, let me tell you about Noah's Heart is a new MMORPG available now on iOS, Android, and Windows. Start your adventure today and get a bunch of in-game rewards to kickstart your journey. You are invited into an open world without borders. You can explore anywhere around their planet like map using grappling grappling hooks, jetpacks, mounts, trains, and even boats. The character customization gives you full control to create your perfect character, from skin tone, eye color, and body size, to even the clothes they're wearing. You could summon phantoms that are based on historical figures from history, like Einstein, Darwin, Shakespeare, and more. They make gameplay interesting by adding bonuses depending on which phantom you use, helping you in so many different ways, like taking over dungeons. Speaking of dungeons, an MMORPG isn't complete without a combat system, and Noah's Heart has that covered. You can switch between the four primary classes of weapons to use at any time, which is perfect if you're like me and can never decide. It's cross-platform, meaning all of your account data is synchronized so that you can play whenever, wherever. And it's also available in five different languages so that you can play with others around the world with no problem. At this point, I don't even know what you're waiting for. Download Noah's Heart today on iOS, Android, and even Windows and take your first steps into a new world. Thank you again to Noah's Heart for sponsoring this video. I have always wanted a grappling hook in Minecraft. And I cannot believe it took an AI to tell me to finally do it. So this works exactly as you would imagine. If I just aim and shoot, ah, it works. It's so awesome.
Okay, I know what you're thinking. It doesn't go that far, but that is why we have enchantments. Okay, enchantment number one, extension. This goes up to level one, two, and three. This is extension one. This is extension two. And this, <laughs> this is extension three. It might be a little too far, if I'm being honest, but it's still fun. But that isn't the only enchantment we made. This is retraction. And as you could probably guess, it allows you to pull things to you. Oh, wow. Okay, um, maybe don't do this with your pets. <laughs> it's kind of fun to creepers though. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for- No, not that one! Let's start easy with a passive mob. AI, give me an idea for an animal to add to Minecraft. I wasn't expecting it to hit me with a pamphlet from the nearby zoo. I mean, look at all those options. Out of all of them though, only one caught my attention. <laughs> oh, this is the best idea ever. The AI knows me all too well. This isn't just a giant sea turtle. This is an uppercase giant sea turtle. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. I think I could live with this. Giant mobs in Minecraft. I was having a lot of fun, but despite that, we needed something a little bit better. So I gave the AI one more chance. An elephant. Why? Because elephants are large, intelligent animals that could provide players with a new source of I've No, no, bad AI. Bad. Not happening. Okay, hear me out. I couldn't just not add the elephant. After all, look at this model bees made. It makes me want to play my trumpet. Okay, I don't own a trumpet, but let me set the record straight. Minecraft needs more wildlife. That doesn't mean it needs to drop something or have any cool functionality. Elephants are beautiful creatures and the savanna biome is kind of boring. So I think I understand exactly where the AI is coming from. More life <laughs> in Minecraft would be amazing. And that's why I put the elephant in the game. Now don't get me wrong. If you punch it on accident, then this is gonna happen. It's gonna chase you, it, but, it, it, but it's still kind of, you know, it's harmless, kind of. Okay. I I admit the elephant may have trampled me, but that's okay. It's still a beautiful creature. Besides, it's my fault. I was trying to saddle that thing and use it as a vehicle. Okay, we've got our passive animal. Now, we need a hostile one. And the AI said, well, actually, let's come back to that. I have an idea. What if the AI could control us? No, 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 not like that. <laughs> what if the AI could control my Minecraft character? So the AI can control my Minecraft character now? Let's see what it does. I still needed a hostile mob, and the AI had a field day. The responses it gave me were so out there that it started to feel like a Narnia fan fiction. I mean, an Enderman mixed with a creeper. Ooh, nightmare fuel. But finally, it gave me sort of a normal idea for a man-eating plant. You know, this could work. I've got some ideas for how I could make it move, and I think I've got an idea for some interesting functionality. Let's make it work. Oh, and shout out to Wither for developing everything you've seen in this video so that we could react to it. Okay, and there we it is our beautiful creation, the man-eating plant. I need a name for it, so comment down below. I think it's best that it's passive by default, but if you hit it, then it gets angry. Oh no, I think it's better this way because the lush caves aren't really meant to be hostile. That said, I've got a cool idea hidden up my sleeve. What would you do if I told you there was a way to convert all of these items into their predecessors? I know, a little dramatic, but look how cool it is. If I drop leaves, it'll convert them into saplings. And if we drop something like, oh, I don't know, wheat, then it'll turn it into seeds. How cool would it be if you could just grow one of these guys in the very early stages of your Minecraft world? Especially if it took a really long time to grow. And maybe if you give it flowers, it could convert them into dyes, but give you one extra. It's scary, but I think it's pretty cool. Despite how cool the man-eating plant was, I couldn't stop thinking about that Enderman creeper idea from earlier. I mean, what would that even look like? How would that work? My only option was to add it to Minecraft. I added it to Minecraft. And I don't know what it is, but it kind of looks like it belongs in Minecraft. Oh, no, I looked at it. Oh, God, it's face. Oh, oh, 